Hey guys. My internet's been real crap today, so I can't actually stream anything. So I thought instead I'd do this speedrun. Uh, I saw this posted to uh, r slash speedrun months ago, and thought about running it then, but uh, but then I forgot about it, as happens. So instead I'm gonna do it now. Another run got posted today. Looks like Patrick Barrett improved his record. Uh, but I'm not doing the any percent run that he did. I'm doing 100%. I'm getting all these toasts. So, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. No idea how long this will take. Uh, although that said, uh, from buying the game to <laughs> finishing with 100% was about 20 minutes, so I don't imagine it'll be too long. All of the levels seem to be about this short. It... Oh, sweet. Um... They seem to be about this short, uh, they just get harder. I mean, they get a little bit longer. A lot of these early ones are like three seconds. Later ones are like ten. There are really just a couple levels I'm worried about, I think. I was surprised that this game isn't just absolutely terrible. Like, it's not great, obviously. You can see that it's not great. Oof. This is not one of the levels I was worried about. That was just bad. Um... I mean, like, you know, the music loop is, what, like 30 seconds forever? Uh, oops. There we go. Um... But like it's it's cute. The art's the art's not bad. The toaster skins that you can unlock are are real cute. I love this frog one though. There's also a uh, Pikachu one. Uh, that was super cute. God, there's one with a... It's just a normal toaster, but there's a little cute little toast sticking out of it. It's pretty good. All in all. There's probably a hotkey to be skipping to the next level that I'm just not aware of. Although at the same time, it uh, does make this a lot easier to verify if you, if I have it uh, actually showing the, um, oops, uh, mm, there we go, uh, the level end screens. Okay, that was not bad. Oh, no, no! That's already level 26 out of 40. We're flying through this, jamming through this game. This is where the levels actually start getting harder, though. so close. Uh, 
Oh, the fork was right there. What am I thinking? I do like how it's forks also. <clears throat> Just, you know, I thought initially, like, oh yeah, forks, because, like, breakfast foods and, uh, you know, fork stab things, sure. But no, it's like a fork in the toaster. It took me way too long to figure that out. There we go. 30 out of 40. this one. I guess just catch it like that. There we go. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, that's right. This one took me a bit to, uh, to get before, just because I, I really wanted to, uh, to do some sneaky fast thing, but the jam jars just suck you into them. It's really hard to, uh, to avoid them if you need to. This one took me a while. Also took me a bit of route thinking. That's not the route that I came up with before. Hold on. That's also not the route I came up with before. <sighs> oh, so close. did exactly the same thing, just went too fast and dove into it. There we go, there we go. Okay. Almost done here. One more level, I believe. That it? That I'm pretty sure that's it. Time is uh when you hit the final golden toast. Yep, when you get the golden toast on level 40, that's it. That uh that's the run 834. I wish I knew how to like delete save progress or something to make it easier to uh to verify runs. Oh cool. There's a bread I can play as. There's a Santa toaster. Yeah, this was the other one I was thinking about. That one's real cute. But I love this frog. This frog is real good. Anyway. Whoever posted this to Reddit, I assume it was Patrick Barrett posting his own run. Thank you for doing that again. I'm... 
I'm surprised I'm saying this, but I think this game was worth the $2. <laughs>